Okay, here's another Solomon question where we've got a picture of the curve. It looks like an ellipse and it says that we've got parametric equation x is negative 1 plus 4 cos theta, y is 2 root 2 sine theta and theta is uh, can be uh, is bigger than or equal to 0 but must be less than 2 pi. The point p on the curve has coordinates 1 root 6. So let's draw in where p is. p is approximately, let's say here, P has coordinates 1, root 6. Okay, it says find the value of theta at P. Okay, then show that the normal to the curve passes through the origin. So the tangent to the curve looks something like this. And clearly the normal will look something like this. But we're asked to show it goes through the origin. Okay, and find the Cartesian form of the curve. Okay, of the curve here. Okay, so let's have a go at this question. Um, just put in my point P there, 1 root 6. And I'm just going to draw my lines just to show me what we're aiming for. There's the tangent. There's the normal. Okay, and we're going to give this a go. So, at P, we have coordinates 1 root 6. Find the value of theta at P. So, on the one hand, the x coordinate is equal to 1. So, we can write that 1 must be equal to negative 1 plus 4 cos theta. And on the other hand, uh, y is equal to root 6. y is equal to root 6. So we could write that root 6 is 2 root 2 sine theta. We could solve both of these for theta to check the theta value that makes both true at the same time. So this equation here, uh, add, one, add uh, 1 to both sides and divide by 2. We have that cos theta must be equal to half and when we solve that the inverse cos of a half when we solve the inverse cos of a half between 0 and uh, pi by 2 we get pi by 3 as one answer and just thinking of our cos graph where are the other answers well pi by 3 is about here so this here would be sorry pi by 2 this here would be pi this would be 3 pi by 2 now we we are pi by 3 from the tip here, so we're pi by 3 back from 2 pi here. So we're going to be 2 subtract uh, a third. So we're going to be equal to uh, 5 pi by 3. That's one of the other answers it could be. And let's check here what it could be. Divide both sides by uh, 2 root 2. So root 6 over 2 root 2 is going to be equal to sine theta. So root 6 divided by root 2 is root 3. So this is root 3 over 2 equals sine theta. And therefore, theta, when we inverse sine root 3 over 2, so inverse sine root 3 over 2, we get ourselves pi by 3 as well. And then checking the sine graph, if one of them is pi by 3 here, the other one is equal to pi, subtract pi by 3 which is going to be 2 pi by 3. Now, which one's true in both cases? It's this one that's true in both cases. So therefore, theta must be equal to pi by 3. OK, so we've got the value of theta here is pi by 3. OK, um, I'm going to rub this out for now. So you can keep going with the question. Now, it says, for 7 marks, show that the normal to the curve passes through the origin. For that, we're going to need the equation of the normal to the curve. Okay, so what we're going to need, first of all, is we're going to say that at theta is equal to pi by 3, what's my x and my y value? Well, I know that x at that point is 1 and y is equal to root 6. I know that because I've got those coordinates. And now what we're going to have to do is work out the gradient. So we want uh, dy by dx and it's going to be equal to dy by d theta divided by dx by d theta. So let's do each one. Um, y is 2 root 2 sine theta. So dy d theta is going to be equal to 2 root 2 cos theta x is equal to negative 1 plus 4 cos theta so dx by d theta is clearly going to be negative 4 sine theta 
Okay, so therefore dy dx, dy dx is this one divided by this one, so it's 2 root 2 cos theta um, divided by this one, so over negative 4 sine theta. We want to work out dy by dx at pi by 3, um, so dy by dx at theta is equal to pi by 3. All you've got to do is substitute in pi by 3 here. And you can use your calculator for this. There's no need to use thirds or anything like that. If you're not comfortable using that, you can just use your calculator and say that it's um, 2 root 2 times cos of pi by 3 over negative 4 times sine of pi by 3. And it's going to be equal to uh, negative root 6 over 6. But we want the gradient of the normal, of the normal, which is clearly going to be the negative reciprocal of this, which is 6 over root 6, which actually simplifies as a third to root 6, multiplying top and bottom by root 6. So use y minus y1 is equal to mx minus x1. So y subtract um, at this point here, root 6, is going to be equal to the gradient, root 6, and then it's going to be x subtract 1. And that's the equation of the normal. Now, show that the normal to the curve passes through the origin. Well, all you've got to do is uh, it, tidy this up. So we're going to have y subtract root 6 is going to be root 6x minus root 6. Add root 6 to both sides. y is equal to root 6x. Okay? And clearly, when x equals 0, y equals 0, therefore passes through origin. Nice and easy for that part there. Okay, so the normal is y equals root 6x. So y equals root 6x. And we've shown it passes through the origin for our seven marks. Okay, let's rub this out now. And let's go for the last part, finding the Cartesian equation of the curve. Well, we know that x is equal to negative 1 plus 4 cos theta, so we could rearrange to make cos theta the subject, add 1 and divide by 4, x plus 1 over 4. And similarly, we know that y is equal to 2 root 2 sine theta, so clearly sine theta is y over 2 root 2. I also know that sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is always equal to 1, so I can square these and add them, so I can say that y over 2 root 2 squared plus x plus 1 over 4 squared is equal to 1. And so therefore, just tidying it up, is y squared over this squared is clearly going to be equal to 8 plus x plus 1 squared over 16 is equal to 1. That's the Cartesian form of the curve, and we're done.